right, everybody. How's it going today? Um, we are um, finally getting to where we can really hammer down on the farming. Um, we have been uh, been not getting as much uh, moisture, I guess, as if you will, as we had been. So things are starting to dry out a little bit. Um, the I should say for the farming aspect of things, I really would like to see us get some more uh, rain. I mean, you can't ever have a too much, I guess you can, but have too much rain, but this time of year um, is all right. Even, even if it does put us back some more on the farm and I won't, won't uh, upset me at all. Um, but I uh, got this going on this tractor um, and I don't know if you can see the dust flying over there or not, but I can see that's my grandpa. He's in another tractor with our, we call it a level, but it's a, it's an archway land plane. Um, it's 20 foot. It, uh, it's a three point mounted. And it, we have it on a 2294 case. And that's, I mean, they say, I think in the book it says, that's the, the, the middle sized. I think Artsway makes three, an 18 to 20 and a 24 foot uh, land plane. But it says in the book you need 180 horse. Is there, uh, I don't know what you, a suggestion, I guess. Um, pull that thing, just, uh, that tractor pulls it okay. Um, it would probably pull it a lot better if it was a front wheel assist just because the uh, that that thing kind of does shove <clears throat> excuse me shove that tractor around a little bit and we have duels on it which helps but um, I wouldn't want it on any small arbor tractor um, we had it on this tractor last year that was our first year of having it uh, or having that level we that tractor was getting uh, it, uh, got a new motor put in it last last spring so we didn't get to use it for any farming um, so this is the first year we've leveled with it it does a pretty good job I mean we've only this is the first field we started on it and we've only probably it's about, about 45 acres and he's got about half of it done so not like we have too many acres on it, but time will tell. It seems to be doing pretty good. But yeah, I'm just disking away here. Um, this is the only disc we have. Yeah, as you can tell, it is off or see it's offset. Um, it's 18 foot. It it does a pretty decent job in um, like first year sod. It, it does okay. Um, I would, uh, I'd rather see it mold boarded than offset disc with this one, just because this tractor is, does struggle with that, or this disc, that first pass. Um, it, it does pull pretty dang hard. Okay, sorry about that, I got a phone call. Um, but anyways, this is the only disc that we have. Um, I don't know if uh, a tandem disc would do any better of a job. Um, like for right now, what I'm doing. See, this has been mold boarded and disced once and I'm on the second pass. Um, I, this is all I have left in the field. It's not very much, probably five acres, maybe. Um, but, yeah, so I got a harrow back there, and the harrow does make a, a big difference um, on the 
help breaking down the, those dirt clods and oh, it helps smooth it out a bunch too. It's surprising how much uh, smoother that arrow makes it. But um, I'm going uh, uh, five miles an hour is what I got it set at and I got my acre counter there if you can even see it if I'm shaking so bad it's fucking rough but uh yeah I'm, I have it set at about 17 and a half feet um because really that I have that harrow is 19 feet wide and I just I made it that wide to uh help with the ridges on the outsides and I mean I'm sure glad I didn't make it 18 feet because it would have been too narrow so I've given myself about a foot and a half there on my anchor counter so and I just I just set that here just a little bit ago I just dawned on me I didn't have it set so but I've done 13 acres since I just hit that oh but yeah um this other half of this pivot is uh, we seeded it down last year. Um, this is only our second year of the farm in this ground. Um, we don't, we just lease this. Um, and uh, the guys who had it before us, um, they kind of. I, I wouldn't say took advantage of the, but they just, they never put any money back into the place and they didn't, um, their, their farming practices weren't the best, I'll just say it like that. Like that was the second year that field had been farmed. We farmed it, we didn't farm it the first year, we just farmed it last year and, um, it, uh, it, I mean, it looked worse than this field. It, uh, we, we, I ended up disking it three times. I ran a big, heavy harrow over it. Um, and we finally got the dirt pumps down a little bit, but, um, it was, it was just a, it was just a nightmare. Um, and it's, because I think they chiseled it once, just chiseled it once and then disc, disced it with a really light finished disc. And um, this country has, I mean, I don't know, from my experience, it seems like pivots, I don't know if they, uh, it just seems like they compact the ground. I don't know if it's the water, but they're just beating down on it all the time. But it um, it uh, just seems like grounds. It just the ground just gets really hard. So there's a lot of sod, and um, it we mow boarded it last year, and that that helped out a lot. Um, or I guess it should it all helped out, but it it broke up that sod a lot better. And really, that field should have been farmed again this year, but. The owner wanted it seated. Just wanted it seated down. So, and it's the it, alfalfa, and it looks really, really good. Um, that field we planted barley in it last year as a cover crop, and it it did okay. It didn't do very as good as I would have liked to see it. Which I mean, it's okay. I, I really don't like grain hay that much. Cows don't. They like it, but they just don't eat it this time of year. But the alfalfa looks looks really really good out there so hopefully we'll have a good stand and a good crop off of that um but this there you can see my camera turned around there um there's a big there must have been a head gate out an old head gate this used to be flood irrigated a long time ago this pivot's been in for like 20 years too and this field's been farmed maybe once just and with poor practices, so there's a lot of old holes where trees were and ditches and stuff. So, um, but he's filling those in. Um, I try 
trying to anyways. But yeah, we are going to play an oats, barley, and peas out here for hay. Um, and I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna do, I am hoping it's gonna do good. Just because, I know I just said I don't like green hay, but it's always nice to get a good crop. Um, and I have um, some guys that might be interested in buying some of it. So what I really need to do is I need to get a combine, but so I don't have to pay everything that I farm. I can get a combine or I need to hire somebody. Customer's a custom or a guy that just up the valley from me here. He puts in about 600 acres of wheat every year and has some guys from Oklahoma. Some custom cutters come in and I was gonna, not this year, but maybe next year, talk to him about what he gets or what it costs him to, uh, to have those guys come in and cut for him. Um, but yeah. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I'm gonna get done with this field today. I, sh I mean, I should unless I break down or something. Oops. Um, yeah, that, so, that's what I'm up to. Um, that's probably, if you made it this far in the video, you're probably sick of me blabbling on about stuff, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching.